I, if you ask me to start a new law school uh, in 2010, I will not bring it in the model of the National Law School. That is now outmoded, both in curriculum as well as in methods. So the next generation of legal education reforms will have to be founded more on skills education, uh, more on science law interface, uh, more on ethics, uh, more on socially relevant themes must get into the curriculum of the new generation of legal education reforms. I should think that uh, we can teach law around skills if you want to give a really socially relevant legal education. I would even say that the next generation of uh, legal education should be known as justice education, not legal education. Uh, you know, as I am fond of saying, as doctors are concerned with health rather than disease, lawyers should be concerned with justice rather than disputes. So this transformation must be reflected in the curriculum, in the pedagogy, in the entire uh, experiential learning that you want to give to the new generation lawyers. You know, we have to move towards alternate dispute resolution from litigation which means a world of change in the training program. And the, the unfortunate developments both in judiciary and in the profession because of the weak ethical foundation of lawyering will have to be restored. How do you do that? Well, today we are teaching ethics as a small module in a final semester of the law program. I think ethics education should start from day one of the five year in the legal education program. I mean, how do you do that? It has to be a variety of activities. You know, you can't teach ethics by lecturing. You have to involve students in activities where the student is called upon to make ethical decisions in real life and help them resolve in what you consider as the ethical way of resolution. Yeah, I remember that when the Gujarat earthquake happened, I was uh, teaching in the uh, National University of Juridical Sciences in Kolkata, 2002. I took a batch of 15 students and a couple of professors the very next day to Kutch. Our mission was to expose the students to the human suffering for which legal answers have to be found. The general impression is that when an earthquake happens and so much of devastation, the doctors and the firefighting, the police and the other people, but not the lawyers. I thought that law has a role to play and I want the students to experience instead of my explaining to them. So we came across orphan children, widowed uh, women, uh, people asking for relief and rehabilitation, medical assistance. And after 14 days stay and interaction with people and doing whatever little we could do on the spot, we came back with a report to Ahmedabad, which we presented to the Chief Justice of the Gujarat High Court. There was a PIL pending at that time, complaining about the rehabilitation, relief and all measures. The Chief Justice has acknowledged our report and mentioned in his judgment and gave some of the orders which we have said. We said that there must be a, a, a NGO activity to collect these orphan children and see that they are given in adoption, uh, facilitated by procedures which are legally acceptable. We said there must be a team which should be legal aid team which should be assisting the people to get the provident fund money, the life insurance money, without asking questions in the bureaucracy of the life insurance corporation. They have no document to produce, but the insurance corporation have the records. So I said that law has a very proactive role to play in such disasters. And the students, believe me you, there are a couple of people who are now working in Gujarat with NGOs. That is only because of the what they saw in real life in Kutch. They were so moved and I should say that they are the people who are most ethical 
in the profession today is one instance in one's life is enough to take to the ethical path whichever career you take of course everybody needs money but in your ethical dilemmas as a professional how should you be uh, which course you should be taking i remember what gandhi ji said when you are to make a decision he, he said in connection with lawyers and judges that when you have to make a decision and you ask yourself the question which decision will wipe the tears of larger number of eyes and the right decision will be taking that course that is possible only when you develop sensitivity to human suffering for which law has to find the answers so i mean how can you bring this sort of experiential learning in a law school environment that is a question which the next generation of legal education will have to answer are you happy with the sort of academic research that's being conducted in law schools and the output coming from there where is academic research i mean i don't call it research they are just uh, you know the the initial uh, compiling from judgments and uh, 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 research report, uh, reports and something which is written elsewhere it's called uh, real research has not happened yet in legal education we try to inculcate it in the new generation of lawyers not the law teachers but the law students uh, when we assign them what you call the projects in every subject and ask them to go and research in their own way find a methodology and write 20 pages by way of a research paper those people at the end of 5 years have developed research skills which law teachers have not yet developed so to cultivate a real research which are needed for our country today what we are trying to do is uh, trying to do in the sense the government of india under the national knowledge commission of which i was also a member of their legal group recommended establishing five legal research centers advanced research centers the central government should pay 50 crores to each center and this will be linked up with the law colleges and a new research culture of innovative research a research which will benefit the society research will lead to law reform or new legislations all this will have to be developed by a research center which i believe cannot happen in the law school at present but by a research center linked up with the law school so that eventually you will have as many law schools as many research centers maybe 10 years 20 years hence but this must happen as the government of india set up the the council of industrial research you know number of industrial research centers were set up to support industry so similarly in in 2010 government of india should set up the law research centers to support the new generation of economic reform and access to justice for those who are outside the legal system so that's what i want to say about research because research cannot be done merely by studying statutes and judicial decisions you must take the social science research methods and bring it into the focus of law that's what is to happen uh, i am told that the government has decided in principle to support legal research uh, like that